Guys, in this video, we are going to build a simple navigation bar using HTML and CSS into our React application. So I'm just going to show you the sample of navigation bar that we are going to build. And then we'll try and build it from scratch into our React application. So you can see the sample of the navigation bar on the screen. So it looks black in color. And when I hover over any of the buttons here, I can see that buttons zoom a little bit. The font size of the button zooms a little bit. And if there is a sub menu under the menu item, the navigation bar expands at the bottom and we are able to see all the options in the sub menu with images and the text. So that's the kind of navigation bar we are going to build in this video. We'll be using a flex layout to build this custom navigation bar using HTML and CSS. So stay tuned till the end of the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Now let's go to the Visual Studio code and start coding this navigation bar from scratch. So guys, I have a fresh Hello World application running here on my local host 3000. I also have this application open in my Visual Studio code. So that's where we are going to start building the navigation bar from scratch. So to start building the application, I'm just going to remove this Hello World and replace it with the empty div tag. And this div tag is going to be the container. And inside this container are going to be all the buttons that will be on the navigation bar. So I'm just going to create a four buttons here. I'm just going to be using Using div tags for creating four buttons so my first button is going to be the home and my second button on menu is going to be news third button on the navigation bar is going to be blogs and the fourth button is going to be about and if we go back to the screen so that's how four buttons are looking now so in the next step we are going to put some CSS and organize this navigation bar properly. So here on my container div, which is containing all the menu items on the navigation bar, I'm just going to put some styling. So here in the styling, I'm just going to make display as flex and I'm just going to justify all the content to center. And same way, we can also do align items to center. So basically display flex is going to organize all the buttons horizontally on the navigation bar and justify content to center and align items to center. So this is basically going to align all the buttons in the center of the navigation bar horizontally and vertically so let's save this so now you can see that the alignment of the buttons changed from vertical to horizontal this time but as of now there is no spacing between the buttons so here in the flex layout i'm just going to mention my gap as five percent so this is going to create a gap of five percent between all the buttons here so now we can see that all the buttons are having a gap of five percent so in the next step we can put a background color on this navigation bar and this background color can be black and we can make the color of the buttons as white so if i save this and go back to my screen now my navigation bar is black in color and all the buttons are in white color i'm just going to increase the height of this navigation bar to around 50 pixels so i'll put a height of 50 pixels on this navigation bar to increase the height so now our navigation bar is looking good we have all the buttons here so one more thing we have to do is when somebody hovers over this button i'm just going to change my cursor to pointer so here in my div tags i can put some additional styling to my buttons so i can add a style tag here and i can say the cursor on this button should be pointer and i can copy this style apply to all my buttons so now if i go back to the browser i can see that if i hover over any of the button my cursor is going to change to pointer so in the next step we are going to build a sub menu under this navigation bar so if i hover over any of the buttons so if this menu has a sub menu it should open here at the bottom so guys after the navigation bar let's create a sub menu here at the bottom so here in the sub menu, I'm just going to put some styling again. So I'm just going to add a style tag here. So in the style tag, we are again going to make a display to be flex. We are going to justify the content to center. And we can also align all the items in this sub menu to center. And we can also align the text to center. So now I'm just going to give a background color to this sub menu. And the background color is going to be black. And the color is going to be white. So this part is very similar to the navigation bar. So in the navigation bar also we have a background color black and the color is white. So I'm just going to keep everything same here. But in this sub menu we are going to add one more property that is going to be position. Position is going to be absolute. So as of now we can't see the sub menu here. To see the sub menu I'm just going to add another property that is width should be 100%. And this sub menu should have a height of 100 pixels. So now we can see the sub menu here. So let me also add a hero section here on the website. So after my sub menu, I'm just going to create another div and here I'm just going to add a hero section. So I'm just going to name it as landing page hero section. So for a moment, let's comment this position absolute. So we can see that if I comment the position absolute, this 
landing page hero section is coming after my sub menu but if i make the position as absolute on my sub menu so my sub menu will be coming over top of my hero section that's what we want we don't want our sub menu to shift our entire website to the bottom so let me change the background color to rgba so this time i'm just going to put some opacity in my background color so it's going to have an opacity of 0.1 so now we can see that our sub menu is coming on top of this landing page hero section which means that it's not shifting our hero section at the bottom because we have mentioned position is absolute but if i comment this position absolute it's going to shift our entire website at the bottom that's not something we want and that's the reason we are putting position as absolute so now we have created a section which is going to be our sub menu and hero section is going to come here but as of now we are not going to focus on hero section so i'm just going to comment this part so now we have a sub menu here but the point is that i want to see the sub menu only when i hover over these buttons i don't want to see this sub menu all the time so here in the application i'm just going to create another state variable and this state variable is going to be open comma set open so this can be the state variable and in this state variable i'm just going to create an object and this object is going to have a property that is sub menu and i'm going to initialize it with the empty string and another property is going to be open and open is going to be false so here in my sub menu i'm just going to put a condition that i should be able to see my sub menu only if my open dot open is true then only i should be able to see my sub menu so if i move this entire sub menu inside this chunk of code so now if i save this and go back to the front end now my sub menu is kind of hidden because my open is false by default but if i set my open to true it's just going to show my sub menu here so now we can see the sub menu but by default i'm just going to keep this as false so i'm just going to put some event listeners here on the buttons so here on the button i'm just going to put an event listener on mouse over so when the mouse is going over this button the function is going to run and it's going to set open to sub menu is going to be home because this is a home button and my open is going to be true so basically when somebody hovers over this button it's going to set my open to true and sub menu to home because this is my home page so i'm just going to copy this logic to all my buttons so if somebody goes to the news page and hover over the news button so it's just going to set the sub menu to news and open to true and i'm just going to copy the same logic here as well so if somebody hovers over the blogs button so it's just going to set the sub menu to blogs and for the about sub menu is going to be about so if i save this and go back to my application so if i go over home i'm able to see my sub menu at the bottom and if i go over news about and the blog i'm able to see the sub menu now what we want is if i go away from this navigation bar and this sub menu so this sub menu should close automatically so i'm just going to put another event listener on my main container so here on the main container i can say that on mouse leave so if my mouse is leaving the menu and the sub menu so it's going to set my open back to false so it's just going to set the sub menu back to empty string and open back to false so if i save this and go back to my application again so this time if i refresh the application if i go over home my menu opens but if i go away from my menu and sub menu it closes back again so if i go over news it opens again and if i go over blogs it stays open but if i go away from the menu and the sub menu it's going to close back again so we are implementing this with the help of mouse event listeners so now what we want is when somebody hovers over the news page i should be able to see the news sub menu here and if somebody hovers over the blog page i should be able to see the sub menu that should come under blog section for home and about we don't have any sub menu so i'm just going to make some changes to my mouse events i'm just going to say that do not open the sub menu if somebody hovers over home and about i'm just going to put the sub menu on news and vlogs so here on my div tags in the buttons for the home page i'm just going to set it to false and for the about page also i'm just going to set it to false so if i save this if i go over home it's not going to open if i go over about it's not going to open if i go over blogs it's going to open and if i go back to about it's going to close back again so this sub menu is applicable only on the news and the blogs now so now our sub menu is ready we need to display the actual menu here if i go over news i should be able to see the news men sub menu here so for that i'll be using some sample data 
so here above the return statement i'm just going to copy some data related to this sub menu and basically this sub menu is an object and in the object there is a news property uh, which is an array and this array contains all the sub menu items that should be under news page so under the news page it's going to have a news related to new zealand india and australia and it also has the images for all these sub menu items and it also has the data related to the blogs so blogs is basically an another array which is going to contain all the information related to sub menu items that are going to appear under vlogs so we are going to be using this data so i'm just going to make some changes here in my sub menu so if my open dot open is true my sub menu will appear here that's fine here within this div tag we are going to display some items based on which sub menu is open so i'm just going to say that if my open dot sub menu is equal to news so in that case i'm going to display the menu that should be coming under my news page and i have all this data saved under my sub menu object so here i'm just going to say that if my open dot sub menu is equal to news so it should display my sub menu dot news dot map so all the items that are coming under news so it will be returning a div tag again and inside this div tag it's also going to return one image tag and this image is going to be item dot image and on this image i can assign some height and width to this image let me give it a height of 110 pixels and also a width of 110 pixels so this sub menu is going to appear only if my open dot sub menu is equal to news so if somebody hovers over the news button you can see here that we have a logic written here if somebody will hover over the news button it's just going to set the sub menu to news and if my sub menu is equal to news so it's just going to show the sub menu that is related to the news so after the image i'm also going to display some text here so this text is going to be a div tag and this div tag can be item dot label so basically this item dot label and item dot image is coming from my object here this object is containing all the items that should be coming under news tab so let's save this and see how it's looking on the screen right now so if i go back to my application so here in the application if i hover over blogs it's still looking the same because we haven't done any changes to the blogs sub menu if i hover over news i'm able to see all the images and i'm also able to see the text here so to see clearly i'm just going to change the background color of my sub menu to black let's go to our sub menu item and here i'm just going to change it to black let's save this so now if i hover over news i can see all the images and i can also see the sub menu labels here so i'm just going to create some spacing between these sub menu items let's go to a sub menu here so this is our sub menu so on the sub menu i'm just going to put a gap of one percent between all the items so if i do that go back to my application so now i can see there is some gap between these so now for the news component it's working fine if i go over vlogs i'm able to see the sub menu but there are no items under it so i'll go back to my application and i can copy this chunk of code again so here this time i'm just going to say that if my sub menu is equal to blogs so it should be looping over the sub menu dot blogs and show all the items that should be coming under blogs section and all this information we have it here again in the sub menu so this is sub menu sub menu dot blogs which is an array so it will be mapping over this array and display all the labels and the images so that's the part we have made changes for the blog section if i save this and go back to my application so this time i can see the news and the i can see both so that's all good our navigation bar is kind of ready so let's see how this navigation bar is going to look on the mobile view is it responsive or is it having any issues so on the mobile view i can go choose samsung here if i hover over news so this looks very responsive this looks good so this looks good on the mobile as well but the problem is going to happen if there is more items under the sub menu so let's add one more item under the news sub menu so i'm just going to copy the same item just to add one more item in the menu so if i add one more item this is going to have some problems on the mobile view so on the laptop view it's still going to be okay but on the mobile view now th there is a problem because all the menu items can't fit in the same row so to fix that we are going to add one more property to our sub menu so here in the sub menu div tag we see that our display is flex and that's the reason all the items are aligning in the row but if all the items can't fit in one row we want the last item to move at the bottom automatically so for that i'm just going to add one more property here and this property is going to be flex wrap i'm just going to mention flex wrap to wrap 
if I save this. So actually, I should not add this property on my main navigation menu, but I have to add this property on my sub menu, which is here. So I'm just going to put flex wrap to wrap. If I do that, my last item is going to move at the bottom. But this time we can see that it's still exceeding the sub menu navigation bar. So to fix that, I'm just going to remove this height here. So it's going to pick the height automatically. So this is looking good on mobile view now. So if I expand it to the desktop view, it's looking like that. Also, it's going to be very responsive. So if I go to blogs, news, I can see that our sub menu is working fine. So as soon as I go over that, it opens. And if I go away from that, it just closes the menu back again. So this is working fine. So now in the original project, we have also seen that these buttons on the navigation bar zoom a little bit as soon as somebody hovers over these buttons so i'm just going to add that effect as well in this project so i'll go to the buttons here so these are all my buttons so i mentioned cursor to pointer here i'm just going to add one more property that is going to be font size so font size is going to be conditional so on the font size i'm just going to say that if my open dot sub menu is equal to home because I'm on the home button right now. So if my open dot submenu is equal to home, this font is going to be 30 pixels. Otherwise, it, this font is going to be 15 pixels. If I save that. So now if I go over the home, it's just going to zoom itself. And if I go over news, nothing is happening because uh, we need to copy the same logic on all these three buttons here. So I'm just going to implement this same logic here as well. So let's copy this chunk of code and paste it on all the buttons. But on all the buttons, we need to change the name. If this is a news button, so if my open dot sub menu is equal to news, then this is going to zoom. And if my open dot sub menu is equal to blogs, and for the last one, it's going to be about. So if I save this, so basically I'm saying that if my open dot sub menu is home, if somebody goes over the home button the font size is going to increase from 15 to 30 pixels so let's go back again and check all the logic so this time if i go over home it's zooming if i go over news blogs about so that creates a simple zoom effect on our navigation bar let's finally check this on mobile view as well so if i go to the samsung if i go over that so this is completely responsive on all the screen sizes so that's how we can build this interesting navigation bar so if you found a value in this video leave a like subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next one